Well, good morning, Nancy Burt Priest here. Um, I'm live on Facebook, and I will be posting this on my YouTube channel. Um, here's the card we're going to make today. I'm going to talk a little bit about basic brayer technique. Um, but I wanted to share this as my email, and this is important. This is my website, my online store. If you don't have a demonstrator, I would love to be your demonstrator. Um, here's my February host code if your order is less than 150. There is more to celebrate in celebration. So February 1st, they posted new items. You can get on my Facebook um, or my website, sorry, and look. I also posted it on my Facebook business page, my YouTube channel. I'm going to put a little um, comment out there, and I see one person. Hi, good morning, Tammy. Um, I want to let you know that this glass mat is one thing you can get, and i got to get that up, for joining during the month, um, well, the month of February, because it was January and February during celebration. So the option of getting this, or you could get $30 extra if you join. So let me ask you, or let me tell you a couple of reasons you might want to join. Um, number one, this is a great, I'm, I'm enjoying using this. I'm learning more about it all the time. Um, so you can get this or you, um, this, or you can, um, get extra product. But here's a couple things. You're joining, um, a crafting community that is wonderful. Lots of opportunities. Um, it's really fun to do. You do not have to hold classes. You do not have to do videos. You do not have to do anything. You can just join for the discount. Um, and the, the beginning when you join, it'll be 20%. And then as you sell a certain amount, it bumps up to 25%. So that's a nice discount. You have the opportunity to um, join demonstrator only events online. I have team members in Florida, and I had one in Michigan. I've had them um, in Texas. So you do not have to live near to be a team member. Um, we have Zoom team meetings. So um, we have challenges. I send out products to different demonstrators to try and, and share. Um, I give you thank yous every um, year. It's just a fun group of people. Um, you get to see and pre-order new products before customers. That's one of my favorite things. So, um, and you'll be supported not only by myself, but my upline has um, a Facebook page. We have um, linked by Inc. Facebook page, but that's only for demonstrators. There's a lot of reasons, and celebration is the best time to join. So my little product thing there is check out my website. There's a join um, button. It's easy. If you have any questions, email me, and I would love to have you on my team. And if you don't have a demonstrator, I'd love to have you as a customer. All right, enough of that. Let's, we're going to do basic brayer technique. So Stampin' Up! used to have a brayer. They came out with a new one. And I'm still learning about this brayer. So the first thing is you notice you have these little um, pieces that go up. That is the way you should brayer. When they go down, it's to set your brayer down and you don't get ink on your surface. So that's the first thing. Um, I have watched videos by different people. One was my upline who had some great ideas. Um, that's what we're going to do today is some very basic brayering on some of the paper that is celebration paper, adoring hearts paper. And we're going to do some beginning brayering techniques today. So what I am, for this technique, I am going to get a little scrap paper here because um, I, when I do it by myself, I just do it on the mat and I clean it up as I go. But here I just don't want to mess that up. So remember, this part sets it down and this is up. So I'm going to use bubble bath 
And here's another little tip on brayering is when you're putting it um, ink on your brayer, only go one way. Don't keep going back and forth because you don't get it inked as well. Okay, so you ink it. Now you can start it any way. You can go this way. I'm going to because I have a wider um, brayer than I need for the paper. I'm going to go up and down. I'm going to make sure I'm just, and I'm going to go. I'm going to start off and go straight up because I'm trying not to get lines. Now there might be a little at the end where I, I ran out of some of my ink. I'm gonna go start off the paper, straight up. You notice a lot of our techniques are start off the paper. Now I'm gonna turn it around because I've gotten the bottom part dark, but I haven't got the top part. So I'm gonna ink it up again and I'm gonna start on the bottom and ink it up. Now, you can go back and forth if you want. And I, um, one person said the faster you go, the more ink you're putting on your paper. Now, this is pretty good. I'm getting closer to what I want. Up here, I got a little bit of line, so I wanna make sure and Kind of smooth that out. And every time I do it, I do it a little different. I might come back. Okay, I'm going to say, so now I'm going to set it this way. So when you're inking it one way, but you can brayer back and forth. Eventually, I hope to show some videos. We're going to make like some sunsets and different things, and that'll be fun to do with the brayer technique. So, what else am I using? Well, I have the card base is Berry Burst, um, five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter. And then I have this piece is two, two inches wide by four and a quarter. And I'm going to, I know both sides are so beautiful on this most, adored um, DSP, which is a celebration, which ends in the end of February. Okay, so I'm putting that, oops, well, it's a little bit off, but that's okay. Now, like, let's say you put it down, it's a smidge off there, I'm okay with that, but it goes over a little bit. Grab your scissors and trim it off, which is very easy to do, okay? All right, so that is the two inch by four and a quarter DSP. Then I'm going to mount this piece on, this is some shimmer paper, has some beautiful colors. It is in the back of the annual catalog and it has Berry Burst, it has Lost Lagoon, um, it has some really pretty colors. Next, I am going to find the ribbon. Where did I put it? Don't you love when that happens? You have a ribbon. Well, I know where some more is. So I will grab a piece of ribbon. And this time I'm using, this one I used pink. Um, this one is an organdy ribbon with, it's a white glitter. It was still, last I checked, it was still on the online exclusive. And so I'm going to wrap my ribbon. And how I'm going to do it is make this side a little bit longer and wrap it through. And I'm just doing a knot. It's not an incredible bow or anything like that. It's just a simple knot. And sometimes my knots turn out amazing. And sometimes they turn out okay. This, I'm gonna call it an okay knot, which is great. I'm going to trim it with my scissors. Okay. And then um, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna adhere that to my card base. 
Now, um, the DSP that I cut was three by four. Yep. And then the um, glimmer is three and a quarter by four and a quarter. And then the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use Heartfelt Hexagon Stamp Set. I, I love this sending you lots of love and hugs because it could be happy birthday. Um, it could be whatever, and you can put whatever you want on the inside. It could be with sincere sympathy for you, anything you want. So I think that's a nice one. This is just a piece of scrap I have. Um, and I could have done... They have little outlines, and I could have done that. And I will have that option for people that come to my class. I wanted it kind of um, white so it would stand out. You don't want to stamp it too close to the edge because then you can't get your punch in. And remember, turn your punch upside down so you can see where you're punching. And... I'm just going to pop that. Now, when you're popping on ribbon, I would say put your, oops, don't put them that close, put your um, dimensionals up a little bit so that it's not right on top of the ribbon. If it is, it's not a problem. It just helps it stay. And I'm putting um, six on here so that I really have that secured and it'll stay well. Yep, I got them all. And I'm just going to put that to the side. I'll get these off my glass mat. And the beautiful thing about the glass mat is you get anything, you're not going through as much paper. I used to go through just a ton of paper. And now I'm not. So I'm kind of happy about that. So now I'm going to, oops, I always get this I'm going to pick these up and I'm going to put a little dot there. This is my take your pick tool. You can use either side. Depends. Sometimes I use one. Sometimes I use the other. Remember, you like um, groups of three. So that kind of, um, these are the iridescent pearls basic. So not a very hard card but it is with basic brayer technique and <coughs> i can i hope to continue to try brayer technique and do some different things the other thing i wanted to show you with this one is i cut a little strip of the inside white and i brayered that with a bubble bath too so it just adds a little bit um, to the inside of the card. Since it's February, I'm doing lots of pinks and reds and all of that, that which is fun. Um, so I hope you like um, this card. Once again, if you're thinking, or if you know somebody who might want to join my team, I'm trying to grow my team, and I would love to have new people on my team. We have a lot of fun, and we have great people challenge each other, learn new folds, new techniques, and um, you have access to lots of things. So don't hesitate to either contact me via email or um, on my website. I hope you have a wonderful day. Take care.